How to install SP100 connection terminals. Step 1. Take out the cable and lug fittings. Includes AC output connector, DC input connector. Step 2. Assemble the input connector. Put the wire into the crimp terminal and press it firmly with pliers. Step 3. Assemble the output connector, unscrew the terminal connection. Put in the output cable and press it firmly. Step 4. Insert the crimp terminals into the connector. How to use the SP100 series keypad. There are five buttons. PRG and ESC, programming and exit. Enter or exit the first level menu and shortcut parameter deletion. ENT and shift. Short press can step by step into the menu screen, parameter enter. Long press is to shift the cursor under the number. Up. Increasing function codes as well as parameters. Down. Decreasing the function code and parameter. Start Stop. Control the start and stop action of the device. Quick Start Guide First, Restore Factory Settings Second, Motor Parameter Setting Third, Motor Parameters Auto Tuning Fourth, Start and Run Fifth, Stop and Shut Down How to Restore Factory Settings for SP100 Step 1 Press the PRG button to access the first level menu. Select the P00 group and access it via the Enter button. Step 2. Set the function code number to 18 by using the up or down button. And press the Enter button again to enter. Step 3. Change the function code parameter from the default value of 0 to 1. And click Enter button. The other parameters except for the manufacturer's group and motor group are restored to the factory settings. How to set motor parameter for SP100? Step 1. Use the programming button to enter the first level menu. Select the P02 group and enter via the enter button. Step 2. Enter the parameter according to the motor type and each function code number in the P02 group of the manual. Step 3. For example, 15 kilowatts 3 phase 380 volt asynchronous motor. P0 2.00 motor type is set to 0. P0 2.01 motor rated power is set to 15. P0 
P0 2.02 motor frequency is set to 50. P0 2.03 motor speed is set to 1460. P0 2.04 rated voltage of the motor is set to 380. P0 2.05 rated current of the motor is set to 32. How to achieve auto-tuning of motor parameter of SP100 Step 1. Use the programming button to access the first level menu. Select the P00 group and access it via the enter button. Step 2. Set the function code number to 15 by using the up or down button. And use the enter button again to enter. Step 3. Change the function code parameter from the default value of 0 to 1 for rotation auto-tuning. 2 for full parameter static auto-tuning. And 3 for partial parameter static auto-tuning. Step 4. For example, rotation auto-tuning. Adjust the parameter 1 and click the enter button. Then press the run button and wait for a few seconds for the auto-tuning to complete. How to replace the fan of SP100 Step 1. Open the fan shield bottom case. Step 2. Unplug the fan cable terminal and remove the original fan. Step 3. Insert the input cable of the new fan into the snap. Note. The direction of the fan, hot air is on the top, the wind direction should be upward. Put the fan into the slot and put the top cover on it. IMVT IMVT